Yeah. You just got banned yeah. on Instagram and TikTok. Well, I I'm, I can't go live on Instagram. I just can't. I can't go. What I, was the reason? I did a deliverance, and I just uploaded it. Because, you know, you can do, after you go live, it says you want to share it onto your, yeah, onto you can, your feed. So or, I just shared it on the feed. I shared it. It got taken down. Got, everything. Got, I can't go. I can't what was it. the reason? Did they give the you a deliverance. reason? Yeah. I did, I did a deliverance on the, the live Instagram with a person, with a woman. So, so the normally they'll send you like, oh, due to um, I didn't get nudity or that that No, I didn't get anything for it. I when I try to go on, it says you're not eligible to go live. It says at the bottom you're not eligible to go live on Instagram. It doesn't give me a date. You always go live on Instagram, bro. I can't bro. go live no more. I can't. So I yeah. Okay, make this make sense. All right. These half naked people can go live. Yep. These people can pretend they're uh, what is it NPCs, like oh I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat a burger oh they press the button I'm gonna eat a burger full I'm on, gonna, I'm full gonna... on satanic people can go yeah. on with satanic I've saw... you can do satanic yep. rituals you can do yep. all this garbage tarot cards but yet you drinking can, blood you can drink but you can do yep. all this crap all over social media yep. firecrackers out of your bubble but when it comes to actually praying for someone yep. and trying to help them. Yep. Oh yeah, we can't allow that. Yeah. Well, but if you think about it, the the what the demons they own, they they own the people. They 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 they're hosts inside. Demons are inside people. That's what we, what we see. We believe, and they're controlling the media. They control. They control celebrities. They control well all the social media. I think what's going to happen is we're only going to be able to lo- allowed to wear t-shirts. I was going to say where where is we're not going to be able to speak. We're where's our speak. platform? Where is the radical Christian platform at, bro? Like, yeah, but how are you supposed to evangelize the people that are that are, look, are wanting to find freedom? Oh, that's true. That's, if, that's like they, me evangelizing in a church. Yeah, <laughs> how are you supposed to evangelize in a church? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can. Well, that's, that's true. That site, that site would be to ignite Christians to, to yeah, do more. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, if you want to go out into the you know the world, we have to get to the streets. You know, you got to go outside. Yeah, but. Uh, you're you're not gonna be able to do that anymore either, probably. You know, like I mean, I'm Damn. doing damage. I have a mark on me. It says you have a mark, dude. When you're doing, when you're casting devils out, they know who I am. They know, they know by name. They know what I'm doing, and they're they're trying to stop me, shut me down, and they're attacking every single way, dude. They're attacking my wife. They're attacking my children, full on. They're attacking me, definitely. See, someone once told me. That if you're not getting attacked as a Christian, oh, you're not doing your job right. I know, but it's tough, man. It's real tough. Oh, it is, yeah. bro. Because like, okay, like, I'm I'm a softy. People <laughs> people will see me walking around, you know, with my with my look because I'm yeah. in deep thought. Yeah, yeah. But then if I see like you, I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? Like, big cheesy smile. But That's like, cool, I, have, yeah. I have a really soft heart. Yeah. And yeah. So when I first started getting ripped apart online yeah. by you know the Pharisees, oh, well, the, the Pharisees are still here. Yeah. The religious spirit. You still would here. think they'd yeah. be gone by now, bro. Nah, but no, like, still, yeah. look what they did to Jesus. Bro. They killed them, bro. And it's it's incredible because they're like, oh, like that's that's not that's not right what Richie's doing. He shouldn't be praying for people like that. Oh, he prays too aggressively. He yeah. doesn't look the way we should. You because know, who are they listening to? Demons. Who are they listening to? What do they say? Test your spirit. Yeah. Who are you listening to? You think Jesus would tell you that? Oh, don't you think Jesus would tell you praying on other people that way is wrong? Come on now. <laughs> what what about the story when like well, Jesus Jesus they were praying in your name. Go let them pray in my name. Yeah. The same team Jesus. Yeah. If Go, they're not against them. us, they're for us, oh, bro. What? Oh, you read the scriptures, you know, yeah. but you don't live it out. No, it's, it's a buffet faith, bro. Oh my god. They buffet use the faith. they use the the buffet bible. They're like, "Oh, I like uh, I like this part. I'm going to use this, but I'm not going to use it for for my own benefit. I'm going to use it to rip this guy apart." It's so horrible, dude. Yeah, I'm going to get That's like going to to Golden Crown like, you know, I'm going to get this really good steak, <laughs> yeah. but I'm going to throw it at this guy across the room for oh, no wow. reason at all. So crazy. Yeah. It's, but it's, they they love to point the finger. They love to point the finger. They love to to look at what you're doing and, and pick at everything. Oh, you're doing this now. You can't do that. You can't do that. That's not righteous, man. Can't do that. You know what I mean? Or they Dang. ask all these questions like they just they just want to. Oh, you don't know this. You don't know that. You know this. Like, come on, dude. It's like, no, I don't. This I've only not, been saved a year. There's not a competition. <laughs> there's not a competition here. There's not a spelling bee. <laughs> Right? Is this over time of Jeopardy? This is not a Jeopardy show. Do, 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 do. You are right. Your no. insult has to be in the form of a question. Dude. All <laughs> I care about, 
All I care about is a personal relationship between me and Jesus, which is you should do the same thing. Also, all I care about is saving other souls, right? Going out and doing, like, people, what, you just got to wait around for Jesus? You just got to wait. Yeah, we know he's coming back, so you just got to wait. I'm going to just wait for the rapture. You lazy bums. Go out and do stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What you are you doing? Here, okay? He cleared the air. What? Right? It's not about shoes. It's not about, you know, hair. It's not about it anything really else. Is, okay, I love shoes. It he really, does. It's not, it's not about shoes. I know my wife's like, yeah, right, Richie. But <laughs> no, literally, like, it's not about all that stuff. Of course not. Yeah. Okay. We like shoes. Am I yeah. going to go to hell for wearing a pair of Jordans? Is Richie going to go to hell for wearing a pair of Gucci shoes? <laughs> Is he? It, realistically, where in the Bible does it say, thou shall not wear designer clothing? <laughs> they hate me. Where? Where is, it gonna, where is he? I'm a Gucci say, clown. You're going to go to hell, bro. I'm a Gucci clown. <laughs> I'm the, I just had the song. Or I'm recording today. I, I made a song called Gucci Clown. Shut I up, did, yeah. bro. Well, that's why I got, so that's why I got, like, I got the jumpsuits and all this stuff because I'm going to do a music video. And the, what? I, yeah, it's funny. I think it's funny. Have you done music videos? Like what? Shot one? Yeah. No. Oh, uh, yeah. You should do, you should do <laughs> it. Do you want to? Yeah. I, well, my song is only, I'm only doing one minute songs. That's it. This is a legit song. Like a real yeah, song. It's, it's out. It's going to be out today. Like we're putting it on Spotify. What yeah. don't you do, bro? No, it's funny. I think it's funny. So we're doing that one. And then the song I'm doing today is um, the one where it's like, if you can't wear your name, if you can't wear your girl's name on a chain, then you're cheating on her. Then you're cheating on her. <laughs> I'm doing that one today. Where's your chain? Oh! Mine's permanently etched onto my ah, arm. Where's your chain? Okay, it's, it's right here. Yeah, dude. Oh, he's got it. The name tattooed? Okay, you wouldn't. Okay, since you brought it up, you wouldn't know a funny story about my about this tattoo. So it's here. Okay, the wife. Remember, story. this is the Richie the Barber show. So this is. Right here. My wife's name is right here. Oh, wow. That's nice. Okay. It says Antoinette. I'm putting my right. wife's name. It's hard to see because I'm a little dark skinned. All right. But it says Antoinette right here. Oh, wow. So, I'm putting my wife's name right here on my lip because that's gangster. It's still weird that you don't have a mustache. Is it weird? It's, it's weird. It is weird. Uh, is it weird, baby? You look like a baby clown. Know. I'm a baby clown. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to put her name right here, Jen, on my lip. <laughs> Not for real. Okay. I'm, ta I'm tattooing it. So. And she said it's okay, though. Before you people rip me uh, for having tattoos, okay? Because I have tattoos. Yeah, but you said the the, the the spirit convinced you not to get tattoos anymore. Yeah, okay. Just like Mike. Mike said he's not doing it anymore. 100%. Either. But I don't no. judge people that continue to get tattoos or Wait, still have say tattoos. say that again? Because I'm, right, not I'm right here, people, bro. <laughs> okay? If they are continuing to get tattoos. My job is to be an example. Perfect example. Oh, we were wow. at Costco. Okay. Okay, when yeah, I yeah. used to get gas there. Yeah. And I'm getting gas and I'm wearing shorts. I have the juggernaut tattooed on my back. The what? Cap. The juggernaut from Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Wow. He I, runs through walls. He runs through walls. Dude, that's the monocle. So, <laughs> <I'm saying that's, laughs> <laughs> that's the monocle. <laughs> so I have the juggernaut tattoo on the back yeah. of my left leg, right? Yeah. And I've seen it. This guy, the there's an attendant at Costco who kind of helps people at the pump for whatever reason. I don't understand That's why. Weird. So he's there, yeah. and he's blasted on both of his legs. That's cool. Okay, He's like, dude, that is the sickest juggernaut tattoo I've ever seen. I'm like, oh, bro, thank you. And I'm looking at his leg. It's all Japanese art. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, like, where did you get your stuff done at? Granted, Whoa. I don't get tattoos anymore. Okay. I When's the last time you get tatted? <sighs> Just so they know. 12? No. Um, how many 15? years? 15? No way, 15 years ago? 20, 2011, 2010. No, 2011. No way. Yeah. Wow. It's been over, is, yeah, it's been it's been over a decade. Wow. Okay, since I got my last That's tattoo. That's crazy, dude. Okay. And Damn. I'm, I'm telling my dude, like, your art's sick, blah, blah. He's like, yeah, bro. Like, you know, I want to get a whole bodysuit done. And mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, like, your art's, like, really, really clean. Yeah. He's like, oh, what are you going to get next? I'm like, oh, well, you know, ever since I got saved, I just, I don't There's feel the need. There's your chance to evangelize. Bro, go, yeah. the look on his face. Yeah. He's like, wait, what do you mean? I was like, bro, like, ever since I gave my life to Jesus. There like, you go. Come on now. I personally just didn't felt the need to get them anymore. There you go. Used to get them. So I used to personally get them because, so I was a cutter. I used to be a cutter you when were, I was a teenager. That's demonic. That, the, that's here's, the, that's this a was, demon. Okay. Do you believe that's I a demon? Know, I did not that's know this. I did not know that's this until demon. Pastor told me. That's demon. Hey, what do you say? There's scripture on it. I know. Okay. Do you remember the story of uh who was it? Oh, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh uh Oh wait. Elijah. Yeah. Okay, Elijah, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. They're like, oh, they're like, you know, our God is 
I'm giving you the Chris version. Don't <laughs> don't persecute me for this one. He didn't say we're both. <laughs> this is the the Chris message version of the Bible. Yeah, I gotta right? go, yeah. Um, Elijah, they're like, yeah, yeah, our God's better than yours. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, call him down, call him down. I'm just, I'm gonna get a bite to eat. I'm gonna chill here. Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap. You guys continue to go do your thing. You yeah. know, do your fire sacrifice. You know, pray to your idols, sacrifice. your wooden. Yeah, do whatever you guys need to do. Go ahead and call your God up. I'm just gonna yeah, chill yeah. here. Yeah. You know, and I, I think it's funny because I picture Isaiah like literally taking a nap Dang. and like waking up, and they're all like. Please, like, or thank God you have to come because he's making fun of you. He's making fun of you. Please, and they they start in the scripture biblically. They start to cut themselves. That's demonic for sure, right? Let's so demonize. I used to cut myself as a teenager wow. because I didn't want to feel emotional pain. Yep. yep. Right. So I, when I started to cut myself yeah. for a split second, that yeah. emotional pain that I was dealing with in the time of my heart and my mind. Supposedly releases. Yeah, because yeah. I was so focused on my arms bleeding. Yeah. Now you're focused on your arms with muscle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I haven't worked out in a good minute, okay? What? I know. What are you doing? Yeah, man? We gotta know. get back in there. I've been busy. No, you haven't. But <laughs> <laughs> you can still get those games, bitch. I gotta be like Richie. I gotta be like Richie. Yeah. But no excuses. So yeah, so <laughs> but once I gave myself to God, yeah. you know, and I just surrendered my life to him. Yeah. I didn't feel the. I didn't have that pain anymore because you're filled with love. Yeah. So of course, yeah. if once I stopped physically cutting myself yeah. and I, I started putting that's a miracle. Too. This was my reason. I'm not saying that every person gets tattoos because of this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There are some people who get them because they think they're pretty. Richie's pretty. Oh, that, well. Okay. Thank you. Thank pretty you. guy. Hey, right? I'm married. I'm married, bro. I'm married. <laughs> Take it easy. Hey, what's up? <laughs> but, but okay, so going yeah. back to it, the attendant. Yeah, yeah. I tell him, yeah, dude. Ever since I, I gave my life to Jesus, like, I didn't really have the need to do it anymore. Yeah. And the look on his face was like, wow. He was like, that's I've never heard that that's before. Super bold. Super powerful. That's and a he, testimony. That's a testimony. Yeah, and he's looking at me like I'm like, and I asked him like, how come you're looking at me like that? Yeah. He was like, I don't know, like. Mo I wouldn't one. I didn't think you. I wouldn't have thought you were a Christian. Wow. But also, if you were, I would have thought that you would have gave me sugar, honey, iced tea. What? Yeah. You for, said that for having tattoos. And wow. I was like, listen, bro, that's not my job. Dang. My job is to be an example and to show you love because Come that's on what now. Jesus did. Let's go. I'm like, because get. I'm like, think of. And I told. I like to break stuff down logically. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, think about this, bro. If I was trying to lead you to Jesus, yes. In one of two ways, I could tell you, I'm like, bro. You're gonna go to hell for all that demonic you know, Japanese artwork all over your legs, Damn. like dude, like you're a heathen. How dare you oh. scar your body like that? The temple of the Holy Spirit. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Do you really think, <laughs> right? Do you really think I could lead him to Jesus that way? He's gonna be like, shut up, and he'll probably hit you. Yeah, yeah. He was like, dude, I don't. If he was like, if your Jesus is like that, I don't uh, want anything to do with him. That's or crazy. Or I could have yeah. been how I was. I'm like, bro, like, dude, like your artwork is incredible. Mm. Yeah, and then, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. share my testimony yeah. now. All I did was plant the seed Boom. and walk away. Yeah, of course. Now, later on, let's say he chooses to get another tattoo later. But we can't, we can't condemn anybody. No, we can't tell somebody you can't do this, you can't do that. Da da da. It's not for us to to say that we yeah. can't. Now, okay, so let's say you're slipping. Yeah. Right. And you share with me that, hey, you know, that's I, different. That's different. If I go to you and say, hey, Chris, you know, I just haven't been praying lately. I haven't been uh, reading. You know what? I've been watching a bunch of porn. Yeah. You know, I, I think about this, 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 uh, you know, midgets. I don't know. Think like, <laughs> I don't think about midgets. I'm saying. I just, <laughs> but, anyways, uh, then you have the chance to say, uh, well, as a brother in Christ, yeah. you can be like, that's your chance to uplift, yes. or you can be like, "Oh, bro, I knew it. I, I knew, knew it. it. Yeah, I, you, I the knew look it. on your face. You, you, I, you know, I knew you. you just your fire. Def, you know, you're yeah. telling me. I, I knew oh, you were gonna slip at one yeah. point or another. That's horrible. To yeah, say. that's bro. horrible. You'd be like, hey, the look on her. You kind of look like you're not really studying anymore. You kind of look like you're not. Yeah, on you kind of look anymore. like a sinner. Yeah, you look like, like <laughs> what? Wait, what the hell? Wait, wait, wait. That's horrible. I thought you were my friend. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Have I ever done that? Ever said that? Anyway, I, I hope not. Ever <laughs> I never said that. Anyway. If I have, I'm so sorry. Well, and also too, like let's say, okay, let's say, let's say, uh, I'm just saying, for instance, let's say, like, I come in here and I'm like, Chris, uh, you all right? <laughs> uh, kind of look. You all right, bro? Are you? Have you been reading? Like you know, you what? That'd be kind of weird, right? Like, like just questioning you about. I don't think. No, nah, I don't think so. Are you? You're just too busy now. 
<laughs> Are you? You don't look holy. I don't see the. <laughs> oh, I don't see. Man. I don't see the ring around. Now, that, you don't have that aura around you that's no more, horrible. bro. Why would I, I would say that. Like, you know, like I don't, okay, I have no idea what you're going through. Like, I I would probably just be like, hey, what's up, man? And he'd be like, yeah. hey, if you want to tell me, you want to tell me. If you don't, then I'll, like, I'll I, pray for you. Yeah. Well, I still I, love or, you. I don't know. Yeah, I still love you. Like right? how we but, normally talk. Well, that, we do that. <laughs> but you know what pisses me off? A lot of a lot of new believers will. Oh, baby. They they do that. They'll send me messages and they'll be like, "You haven't forgave this. I you haven't forgave this person. I knew it." I'm like, "Why?" Oh, are you? I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm like, "What? What do you mean?" Like they're like, "You yeah." Like they'll just start saying, "You haven't done this. You haven't done that." And I'm like, "Dude, shut up." I just want to tell them, "Shut up." And then guess what I do? I just I ghost them. I ghost them. They're out of my <laughs> life. If you're telling me that I haven't like really done this or that, like pointing the finger, I'm not gonna hang out with you. And we I don't want to hang out with somebody like that. And, and and take this as a as a as a learning point, yeah. you guys. Like, if you're a Christian, if you've given yourself to God, and you see someone who isn't as far along as you, who hasn't learned the same life lessons as you, yeah. don't rip them apart. Because guess what? You were in their shoes at one point. Oh, you were. Every single one of us were in their Bro, shoes at one seriously, point. Seriously, come on now. You know, like we were all that baby Christian who are, didn't yeah. know their Bible, who didn't yeah. know Scripture. Dude, I don't know. I don't know everything. I tell like, none of us do. And people like throw stuff at me. Those comments. I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's been a year. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you're right. I don't know. Okay. I have not read the book of Enoch. All right, you guys. I haven't read it. Am I going to read it? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Should I read it? Like, bro, yeah. I, people are like, oh, you haven't read the book of Enoch yet. I'm like, bro, you haven't even read the Gospels yet. Oh! You have. You don't even know Dude! who Jesus is yet. But you're trying to school people on the book of Enoch? Dude, come on now. Like, I'm like, okay, preach, bro. Preach. You, you, you want to talk about the book of Enoch? What's the last thing Jesus told you to do before he left? Dude. What was the Great Commission? Oh, oh how about this? Okay. Spell commission. Dang! Then you can tell me about the teachings in the book of Enoch C and all that other stuff. Oh, <laughs> P I T L O <laughs> S is there S? But that's what I mean, bro. Like they'll yeah. they'll see these these young Christians expect them to be biblical scholars. Do they judge you, Chris? They, they judge you. No. Wow. It, okay. But in my what? church, I gotta get big because it, they, they don't do it to you because you're you're big. Well, even and if they, they, you'll just be like, "What's up?" No. It's like, <laughs> okay. This is my secret. Oh. If someone were to do that to me in public, yeah, right, and I go in like for Damn. a hug, I would just squeeze really? really tight until they stop moving. You're like a python. Yeah. You're a python. No, it's like a bear. more like a bear. You're a bear. Yeah, I'm a bear. You're a bear. And see, as they exhale, I just continue to squeeze tighter you're gonna until die. I just squeeze all the demons Power right out Christ of them. Like, <laughs> and then, and then as they inhale air, I'm all like. The blood of Jesus is all over you. Oh, <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Out. <laughs> it's oxygen returning to my blood. So they do they only do those things to you on the comments? I don't think anybody would do it in person to you. Does anyone ever do that in person to you? To me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Bro, what? I've, I've had, never been I've persecuted a, in person. I've had a guy in a pulpit tell me, right, and looked at me on the pulpit. And me and Jen are right here, and he's telling me about piercings. You, you're not a holy man. It has scriptures on it, and I'm looking at him like, I we gotta get out of here. If I didn't have a deliverance to do, I would have left. I would have left, and I literally, I'm not saying who it is, but I, you know, he knows who he is. I didn't. I was like, nope. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to. I'm not gonna go to church if he's gonna do. If he's to be on the pulpit again. So going back to what I'm saying, and it was messed up. How long have you been saved? It's been a year, or, okay. or more, maybe a little more than a year. And obviously, Richie is a grown man. I know he is not a infant baby in <laughs> diapers. I'm a okay, baby. but by by technical standards, yeah. he is still considered a baby Christian. Well, how long are you a baby Christian? Uh, how many years? I don't know. To me, bro, honestly, we're always learning as Christians. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're we're not but like when like, you're like a year. Uh, it's you're this so is still new. So new. new. Yeah, it's so new. new. I'm learning big time. Well, that's when we see people on the guest, like Mike. I'm like, dude, this is like, dude. See, I've been saved ten years, and wow. I'm watching Mike, and I'm like, ten years. Dang, I got, I got more work to do. And he has. I've been saved but how longer cool than you. Is that? Yeah, that you see that. Yes, and you're like, you're like, whoa! I see that. I want, I want it. Yes, I want to do this. I don't want to do you what know? he's doing. I want to do like, what, yeah, more, what all... I can do for yeah, God. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I want to give God my best. Richie gives God his best. 
I, I feel like I can do more, dude. Like, I'm like, I, like, what I'm doing right now, I, I still feel like I'm lazy. I tell my wife that. I'm like, I, I feel like I, I got to do more. You know, that's just me. Why are you looking at me like that? I do. Like, I get so, like, if I don't, if, if I didn't speak, like, about the Lord, and I, and I could have, and I don't, I'm like, oh, dang. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's been times at the gym where I'm like, ah, oh, I got to, like, you know, I got to do it. Should I do it? Ah. And then I don't do it. Or sometimes, this you know is the I mean? guy you guys are ripping apart. <laughs> I'm like, man, yeah, dude. Like, he does more oh, than most dude. Christians I know. But I don't want to think that way because then I'll, I'll be floating away. You know, I don't want to think okay, that. Don't yeah. think that way. I'm not thinking that. You people yeah. think that way. Yeah. He, I well, know screw them. I don't care about it. Who cares about? <laughs> we don't, I don't live for you, and I, t- I don't care. Like, if you want to talk trash, talk trash. I don't care. I don't live for you. I live for Jesus. But I love that. I, I, love, I, love, your, I love your heart in that. Yeah. That you screw always them, think you can do more. I want to do more. Yeah, absolutely. I, I do. You know, and, and going back to it, like, uh, I, I it's honestly, awesome. it's so awesome. Yeah, we can always it's do more. So bro. Awesome. like seeing seeing someone set free is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, and my mom, wa- my mom watched the deliverance video. She talked to me about it. Did she really? I was like, Mom, did you watch all of it? Did you watch all of it? She goes, uh, Yes. And I was like, Are you sure? How did your stomach feel? Did you like you know? And she goes, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Well, did you did you kind of want to puke or anything?" Like I'm just, I'm just asking because my mom. Like then I got to go in and, and deliver my mom. I'm like I'm like because some people can't watch that. Yeah. No, like it, that's a sign you have demons. So if you if you watch that video and you start immediately uh, uh, like and you turn it off, you got demons for sure because that you're watching a deliverance video. I right? know it's not funny, but okay. Uh, you saw Get Out, right? Jesus name. I love it. Okay, amazing yeah. movie. If you guys, yeah. it's an amazing movie. Get out, yeah. We're in theaters. Yeah, and I'm, people were doing. Yeah, I'm watching it, bro. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude, this is a really good movie. Theater ends, and then <laughs> the whole deliverance. They they talk about mass deliverance at the mm-hmm. end. I'm like, what are we? What what are, what are they? What are they doing right now? Yeah. And then I see people start <laughs> crying. And scr- I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, on, I'm looking around, and I'm like, oh, pff, yeah, I don't feel too hot. And oh, I'm like, you? oh, and I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm like, dude, God, like, I'm like, is there anything that I need to be like repenting about right now? Like anything, I'm like whether it's fear, you whether were, it's you were getting so stuff, bro. Like I need okay, I like I, I'm skeptic, super super skeptic. Okay, I've seen people get delivered, like real deliverances, Did you and cough? I've seen. Yeah. <sighs> you got delivered. I I I had to get a vomit bag in case you that, got I, delivered. Yeah, I got delivered in theater. You got that's awesome. I got delivered in theater. There's nothing. There's but there's no shame. Okay, listen, there, no shame about it. No. no, like if I if I got delivered right now, or, by, or, or anybody delivered me, oh, that's awesome. Like you know what I mean? Like get them out, right? Yeah. But uh, and and there was I had some demons uh, a while ago, and I got delivered, and I didn't know, and it yeah. was it was scary. I didn't know, but I was like, thank God I they got them out. But you, you got delivered, bro. It's it, it was crazy because yeah. I started seeing people like throwing up and crying and screaming in theater, yeah. and I'm like, dang God, like, you got delivered, yeah, dude. And like you could feel like Holy Spirit's presence in the theater. Yeah, that's cool. And man. so I'm sorry, bro, but for anyone who thinks like all oh, like. That time of delivering people is gone. The gifts mm. of the spirit are gone. I'm like, bro, you weren't in that theater. You, yeah, no man. one, no one laid hands on me. Yeah. No one prayed over that's me. That's how powerful God, dude. Yeah. It just by, was by, crazy. By the voice. Yeah, they're just speaking through. Yeah, that's yeah, true. that's yeah. that's all it was. Well, think about Peter with the, the shadow. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, what, dude. That makes me have chills, right, dude. <sighs> chills, man. man. Like just thinking about his shadow, dude. There's so much, shadow. dude. Like I'm telling you, if, if the scarf, right? What is it? Was the scarf? What scarf? The handkerchief. Which one? What do you mean? Then there's a story about the handkerchief. It got got like healed. Right? What? Is there a story about that or no? Is there? There might be. Yeah. Was, hey, and this is, is it, this is yeah, real yeah, talk. Yeah. I don't know everything about the Bible. Um no, there no, I'll tell you back. That's not in the Bible. The shadow the I know Peter the, I know his shadow healed. The people. handkerchief, there's a guy I watch on YouTube and there's a there's a remarkable story. And uh he was in he was in uh, some country, and this lady goes up to him, and she found out that he heals, right? So she ca- she comes up to him, and she has all these clothes, and she goes to him, and she, and she throws them on the floor. And, she go- and he goes, what's this? Hi, how are you doing? And she goes, I want you to pray on these clothes right now, right? This, this little lady. And he goes, ma'am. Why would you want me to pray on your, these clothes? What's going on? And she goes, 
I believe that you pray on these clothes and my children will be healed from their sickness. And he goes, you believe that in Jesus' name? And she goes, yes. And he goes, it shall be done. So he prays on the clothes. She goes back, takes the clothes, puts them right on, on the kids. Immediately, they were healed in Jesus' name. So she goes back up the hill. And she goes to him. And she, she's crying. She goes, my children are healed because you prayed on them. What? And the word spread out. And now when he speaks at churches, everybody puts their clothes on the on the wow on the uh, stage bro. piles of clothes everybody and and he has handkerchiefs on him like handkerchiefs and he'll give them out and they get healed yeah acts 19 11 through 12 because of this people took paul's handkerchiefs and articles of clothing yeah. even pieces of cloth that's what it is yeah that had touched his skin, laying them on the bodies of the sick, and diseases and demons left them, and they were healed. Yeah, see there, dude. You demons, can't demons, see it. Demons were left. Every demons arm leave. just stood up. Every arm. From every my hair just stood up on my arm. From a handkerchief. From a handkerchief. Dude, that's wild, yeah. bro. So if we can pray. Why? You th there you go. I said. It. Why do you think Instagram and 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 they're shutting me off? Because I'm praying for people for healing, and they're shutting me down. The demons are cutting. Because there's power. So Dang. it's Instagram. It's the demons. They're, they're you start putting your hat on people. <laughs> there was a guy. There was a guy that asked for my hat to wear. Remember that, baby? The one that Jen made you? He asked. He's all, can I wear your hat? And I was like, what? And he's all, let me. I want to wear it. So I put it on. He put it on his head. And it was weird. But he, he was gay, though. He was gay. He, he was a believer. <clears throat> but I don't know. But if somebody, if someone comes up to me and says, I want to wear your hat or... Or something, I would, I would do it. Can you imagine you put your head there? Like, <laughs> but you know what though? It's their belief. That's why it works, mm. and that's why Jesus will will do the healing because of your faith. Dang, that's good. Think about it. Like that's biblical too. Because even said I couldn't perform any miracles there because of their unbelief. Their unbelief. So if you believe, if so, if anybody says I, I believe that. That's why we shouldn't knock somebody. That's why we shouldn't trash talk somebody. Because if they are healing in Jesus' name, no matter how weird it is, why you gonna why you gonna that's why you're mad about the holy the holy whatever nope guy. Yeah. Because he's talking trash about your friends uh, that are doing uh, you were casting you you were here. We're ca I'm casting out devils. Casting out demons. It's 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 real. And and I've seen it, dude. And that's the thing. That's so Let's talk about him for a second. <laughs> the holy, oh, uh, the holy. I'm note. not gonna trash talk. Yeah. I'm not gonna trash talk the holy note. I am because um, because then I'd be no better than him. Okay, yeah. so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. My only suggestion, if you have a correction that needs to be made to someone, you gotta smack him in the face. <laughs> who? <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> if there's a correction that needs yeah. to be made, especially to another brother or sister in Christ, yeah, someone who's trying to better themselves, right? Who's trying to, you know live that life of you know of of righteousness dm them i'm sorry but any that's a, that's a waste of time for me but see to me like uh, hey it, but even i know how to write a message in love that's hey cool. dude that's like cool. i love your journey i love to see your progress like bro yeah, like, yeah. i've seen your page i've seen what you used to be about mm -hmm. i love that you know you're about god um on your last thing you know this is what i kind of noticed like i'm not down talking to you i just want to let you know like yeah. hey this is what my thoughts are. Perfect, you know, educated conversation instead of be like that whole thing that he does. Like, oh, where, yeah, you know, he's like, yeah, yeah. He just, he's just making content. He, he thinks he's, he's a relig religious spirit. He thinks that he knows everything. Obviously, like, it's a, he thinks he knows everything of the Bible biblically. He's all, I can teach you biblically. <laughs> Shut up. And even, okay, how about <clears throat> this? Even if he does. Even if he, I don't want him as okay, a teacher, I've known some demonic want it, yeah. people who know the Bible, well, of course, from in the beginning yeah. to the very end of Absolutely. Revelation. Absolutely, they have that book memorized. Yeah, these are people who've who've made it their life's purpose yeah, in destroying sure. people. Yeah. Biblical knowledge to me means nothing if you don't have love in your heart. 
If you or, do not or, or have love, with the Jesus. love of Jesus in your heart there you go. to give to other brothers and sisters or even people who aren't saved, mm -hmm. you, you all you have is head knowledge. Yep, that's it. You have no, you're, you're not, you're not you living it. You memorize the book. You're not living it. You don't impress me because you memorize the book. It's just, it's just a, uh, it's just a hum. Yeah, it's because just, it yeah. says you will know a man by his fruits. Cool. Yeah. You know every scripture. You can tell me every scripture from every single book in, in the entire Bible. Mm -hmm. Cool. What are the fruits that you've what are you doing? produced? Yeah. What are you doing? What you're is just the reading. Good? You're just reading the book. At the end of the day, when all when God when you're in the judgment seat and all of it is burned away, yeah. What is left? What did you do? Your phone, your social media page. What's left? What's going to be left? You sat on the couch. What jewels? You sat in the church. What did you do? And honestly, that's that's why now my my purpose in life yeah. is not a lot's been happening to me recently to where I'm starting to realize that it's not about me anymore. I've always wanted a better life Damn. for my family, for my wife and my kids, yeah. a better house, a better car, you know, all of these superficial things that, you know, we all strive for mm. because we want to have a good life, right? Yeah. But I've met some people recently who've really opened my eyes to, and even last night we were reading um, Second Kings and um, come on now. and uh, what was it? Not Ecclesiastes. Second Kings and uh, Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Solomon, when he asked for wisdom, he didn't ask for wisdom just to possess head knowledge, like how people just memorize the Bible. Yeah. Solomon asked God for wisdom so he could lead God's people properly. And when I read that last night, okay, real talk, I didn't want to read last night. <laughs> but you know what? When my wife yeah. brought me the Bible, she was like, you know, you got, ask God what he wants us to read right now. I'm like, okay, God, what do you want us to read right now? Put my thumb in the middle, opened it, Second Kings, mm. right when Solomon starts to ask God for wisdom. There you go. Right? Yeah. And so... It was Second Chronicles. Second Chronicles. And then it referred us back, and then it referred us back to Second That's Kings. That's cool, yeah, yeah. That's cool, yeah. But all that to say is, I realized after yesterday, I met, you know, we met this uh, these, this amazing godly couple. And she, her and her husband have made it their number one mission to help transform people's lives for the better by using a biblical base, like foundation. That's cool. To rebuild them from yeah. the ground up yeah. using God's word. That's cool, yeah. And I'm like... Yeah. Dude, yes. Like, to hell with a platform. <laughs> I don't want that. I want yeah. to help as many people as I possibly yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry. But well, how do you do it? But ripping, it? ripping Richie the Barber apart <laughs> online is not doing that. Oh, Saying dude. mean and hurtful comments is not doing that. I understand. Yeah. If people are hurt, cool. Your feelings are hurt. It mm -hmm. is what it is. But you know what? You can catch a lot more. You can catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Ooh. How do you feel about that's true? How do you feel about like seeing the actual persecution from your friends and people that you meet, like Mike? How do you like? Does it make you feel like wow, this is this is so real? Because you're seeing it, dude. You're seeing it like in person. Or I've seen people talk crap to me online. Yeah, but honestly, it wasn't until I met you <laughs> that <laughs> I realized how how spiteful and mean that's crazy, and yeah. hurtful people can be. Oh well, yeah. Like They're just looking at the hourly. I've yeah. What's it? I've read some of the stuff that that they've written, and I was yeah. like, it hurts. It hurts me. Dang, it it hurts crazy. me. To see the stuff that people write about, they you. say all kinds. Of, yeah, but they're just demons. The demons want to wear you out. Yeah. Like, what do you say? Like, do you you just there's there are times where like I don't even want I don't want to do it anymore. No I'm like I don't want to do it. Like, but there's just something. But that's what they that, want. There's something in me that goes, no, yeah. get back up. Yeah. Fire. Let's go. Let's fire. Like. Like I, I say, I always say to my wife, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it anymore. No, I'm not, but <laughs> Does I, he really? I, yeah, I I'm like, I'm done. I'm not doing this. I'm not posting this anymore. I'm not doing it. I tell her all kinds of stuff. She goes, she just laughs at me. She, she goes, oh, are you, really, really? Yeah, I was just like, no, I'm not I'm done with it. I'm not gonna look at the comments. I'm not gonna do this anymore. You know? Yeah. And then um, I get back. I want because it's a war. It's a fight. It's a battle. Yeah. You know? But yeah, this. I mean, if they're cutting me off the lives now, I mean that's that's. Right I think there. we just we this is where we kind of just have to go into prayer, you know. As, as we, we go, as we, we got to go in person. We got to go out in person now. Yeah, That's you know, it. and and as we begin to wrap it up, like I think this is where our idea of the church has to completely change. It's going to change. It God, has. To. God's there, there's doing no it. way around it. Dude, it God's has burning, to change. Dude, churches are getting burned down. Yeah, they're getting burned down. People are getting exposed. Yeah, burned like, down. Dude. It has to. And this is happening because. 
People yeah. have put so much reliance and focus on their pastors Dude. and their worship teams yeah. instead of putting that reliance on God. Yeah. Because and and this this will probably be in another episode, but I've learned me and my wife have learned firsthand what happens when you put everything you've got into a human yeah. versus God. It will never work. <laughs> oh, it will never work. I will fail you at some point. Dang. You will fail me at some point. Dang, dude. As much as I love you, bro, I will fail you. Dang. You know what I mean? You and said so it. What are you guys doing? I will. <laughs> I will because I'm human. Uh, you know? I'm human. <laughs> but all, you know, all I'd say is, like at the end of the day, dude, we're we're called here to be an example. So I, I feel like the only the only true believers and the only true ones that walk in power love us, and that's what we're here for. But we're also here for the people that are scrolling through are the, that are curious yeah you know what i mean and they're like you know what man this story's hit me you know that's for them dude. you know what i mean so yeah i mean all the haters dude they're just gonna keep on watching whatever but i mean they're just they're pissed, and, and the, haters they're pissed. the demons are yeah. pissed. haters they're will pissed. hate and but, you know i think my my last thing for for the hating people is whether you hate me whether you hate richie it doesn't matter how many hateful comments you you put Yep. Jesus still loves you no matter what. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, What's you up? will never see me hit back at you with a negative comment. Ten times out of ten, I was yeah. like, you know what? what I'm sorry if I said hurt your feelings, yeah. but Jesus still loves you. What do you say? If, if they hate, they hate you. They hated me first. Dang! They, look at you, bro. That, I mean, that's powerful right there, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm proud of you, Richie. I really am, man. I'm, I'm, I'm That's super. I'm godly proud of you, parable, bro. Right? I'm really proud of you, man. You got to remember that. We have. To, so every time I get hated on, I'm like, they hated Jesus first. Yes. And and they're hate, well, they're, they're really hating Jesus because yeah. what are we doing? We're pre we're preaching Jesus. So and I know that they're demons. Actually, I, I'll comment back to them to the demons. I'll talk to the demons. I'm like, I see you. Like, Dang, you know, deliverance I, through keyboard, bro. <laughs> no, no, I just, I just talked to demons. I'm like, oh, there you are. You're exposing yourself. You know what I mean? You're pissed. Your time's running out. You know, that's why I just, I talked to demons. Your time's running out. Man. You're mad. You're mad because you know the ending. Do you? I was on, I was on TikTok, uh, just scrolling through, and there was, there was a satanic guy, doing like talking about his the satanism and he had it was all black and he had a big red pentagram right behind him i've seen that and he had his uh you know statues and all this yeah. crap whatever but he was talking about dude they, they love to twist the scripture bro he was talking about moses had horns <laughs> This fool was saying some crazy oh my nonsense, God, dude. Bro. That he was trying he was trying to say that Moses was a demon. If you people are gonna try to twist scripture, at yeah. least do it accurately. That is not that is a, a lie. Because the scripture goes that Moses' face shone so bright oh, yeah. that he had to cover it with a hood because it appeared oh, as horns. Yeah, bro. So like he, come on, get like to twist the scripture and all that stuff. No, he still did he still did God's work. He did God's work. You can't say he's a demon. Jesus. Yeah, see him won his body, but he lost. What about that? What about that, huh? Who got who got him? Who Don't got worry. Him? Guess what? Demon worshiping people, <laughs> whatever you guys want to call yourselves, you're gonna look back one day and be like, Man, I was so blind to all this. Because mm. one day Holy Spirit's gonna come in, completely wreck you, and Peel the scales right off of your eyes and show you the deception and the lies and everything that you've been shown to believe. Because at the end of the day, you've been looking for love. You've been looking for it in all the Come wrong on. places. And all you had to do was simply just cry out to God and be like, you know what, God? I'm at the end of my rope. I need you. I don't know if you're real or There's not. There is no love with yeah. Satan. Only hate. The only pure love is from Jesus Christ. And he gives it to us. And we feel his overflowing love. That's why... The demonic can't get us because we got the love of Jesus flowing with all inside us. We feel God within us. So therefore, you can't shake us. You can't move us. You can try to have us convince us in a stupid little lie. But we, we know. We test the spirit. We know that's a lie. You because preach. we are in the word. We're in the word. We ain't Luke. We ain't lukewarm, dude. Come on now. <laughs> that's, what they, that's what I get so I laugh at them because they look at us like we're, we're weak. Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> no. you know, anything, you know, if anything, and I'm, I'm gonna close with this. Yeah, if anything, it is easier 
to still be out in the world than it is to be a Christian. Oh! Because guess what? When I wasn't saved, if I was pissed off, stressed, angry, what resentful, whatever it is, I'll go drink my problems away, Drugs. snort my problems oh, away, yeah. yep. whatever. I had every excuse to do all this other crap in the world, but guess what? Yep. As a man of God, I got to be accountable and own up to my emotions, Come on. my thoughts, Come on. my reactions. Let's go. I can't just go up and smash you in the face if you're talking crap to me. Yep. And I think that's why they do it. Because they know that we possess that inner resilience and strength, and they'll just try to poke the bear. And they'll poke the bear. But as we get wiser, we just come out with scripture, just like Jesus did with yes. the, the devil, right? Yes. The devil, he just came out with them with parables. Yes. Yeah, right? That's all we got to do. We'll be like, we just laugh at him. No, that's not, that's not biblical. So, what are you talking about? In the next it's episode. I think this, the next one should be for, for some of the Christians. What do you do when you're getting poked with a stick? What do you do as a Christian when you're constantly getting so that's hard, harassed man. and ridiculous comments, right? Do you Hulk smash back? You fight! No, I'm <laughs> do you I'm take kidding. it outside? Ah! <laughs> but no, just like, just like Reggie said. But if you want to know how to react and you're, you're saved and how to react to those circumstances, yeah. one... You got to subscribe to the channel. Oh! You got to subscribe to the channel. You got to like this video. You got to share it. You got to comment. Comment your, your takeaway. And I hope the takeaway was, at the end of the day, Jesus loves you. He's always with you. Even if you're still a devil worshiper, he's standing right there waiting for you just to turn to him. He's waiting for you to it's turn to him. It's that easy. Yeah, it's, that, it's so simple. It happens so fast. So Being fast. a devil worshiper is hard. You got to set up all your candles and yeah. all this other stuff. You got to draw the weird star on the floor. That's you got to get your floor dirty with a bunch of chalk and all kinds of. Yeah. Other. Don't mess up your living room. It's all dark. There's only fear. Open There's up only a fear. Window. Like, yeah. come on, man, dude. It's it's summertime. Yeah. Do you really want to be inside all dark and mopey, pale, and doing yeah. all this other stuff? No. Go outside. Enjoy. The, go to the beach. Go to Huntington Beach where you'll see Richie pr praying and come delivering on. people. Let's do go. something fun. <laughs> do that. I'm out. I'm hungry.